another sweltering spring day in Florida, but at least there's a little breeze. There's just one problem. I'm a little too big to fit behind the steering wheel, so I got to ride shotgun. Back in 1967, way before my time, somebody went out and got themselves a pretty cherry 67 Volkswagen convertible. And I've known this car personally for over 20 years because I was raised with the owner. And when we were kids, my dad was kind of a Volkswagen enthusiast and he got us all involved in these things at a young age. So about 20 years ago, after my basically sibling got married, they invested in this car. It's a one-year-only 67 Volkswagen convertible, a Beetle convertible, Type 1. And he basically went through the whole thing front to back and redid this thing and has kept it in really nice shape for a long time. And uh, I've always loved this car. My family's always loved Volkswagens. And now I think it's going to be pretty close to the time to sell this on to somebody else to a loving home. So here I am just north of Tampa, Florida. I came up here to make a little video, kind of a memento video and a car enthusiast video. Um, and I'm going to do a quick walk around and this video can be linked to eBay or wherever it ends up for sale. And uh, anybody that's interested can watch this video and get a pretty good idea of what we got going on with this car. Um, it's a beautiful car, it comes with some extra parts had a lot of good quality work done to it. Let's go take a walk around this thing and we'll see what we got. Okay guys, I uh, totally butchered the audio on the original recording with a poor microphone placement. I guess I'm not high tech enough yet. This is a 1967 Volkswagen convertible type one and I'll do my best to do the walk around with the voiceover. I'm not an expert on these cars, but I do know quite a bit about them. And I know I have known this car for since 1998. It's basically been restored front to back, top to bottom, uh, beginning in 1998. And I think it was completed around 2001 or so. It's got uh, almost all period correct parts on it that had to be replaced. A lot of them are original. A lot of them are 67 only parts such as the uh, doors, driver and passenger doors, the bumper overriders, I believe, the uh, deck lid, engine cover hood, um, several other parts to these cars are 67 only. It's got a 67 only radio, I believe. It's got Euro taillights with the amber turn signals, as you can see there. That's the original red color, in case I failed to mention that. Not the original paint, of course, but it is the original red color. And this car, when it was purchased, somebody had done a pretty crazy thing and tried to Baja the back side of it. And you'll see when I open the hood here, um, the rear apron was cut off Baja style, right around where the taillight tops are on the fenders. That was professionally replaced by one of the Volkswagen guys in the Carrollton, Georgia area. Um, I don't remember their names off the top of my head, but they do great work. They're still in business as far as I know too. Um, the welds are real clean. The engine is a 67 1500 flat four. It does have a aftermarket oil spout and it does not have the correct air cleaner, but he has that. This is a family member of mine. He has a lot of extra parts for this car, actually. Um, it's got an aftermarket uh, crank pulley on there for timing. Probably a few other minor things that I'm forgetting about. It runs great. I mean, it fires right up and runs perfect. It has a little oil dribble, as all Volkswagens do. I think it's from the oil filter gasket area. And it's a very minor dribble. Um, that license plate that you can see there is permanent to the car. It's got a lifetime registration in Florida, so if the buyer's in Florida, they can retain that tag number. Um, the convertible top is in excellent shape. It was replaced around 2004. 
along with a brand new boot, which is basically in mint condition. Fits really good too. The upholstery and door panels, of course, were already done, carpet. Um, you can see in this shot here, the window rollers on 67s, window cranks, I guess you'd call them, are one year only also. However, they're impossible to find. So the back two window crank handles are not 67. There's a shot of the 67 radio. Um, the front two are used, cleaned up 67 window cranks. Um, but the back two, like I said, are black plastic. I think they're from 68 and up, but it didn't really matter much to my family member. Um, the upholstery is excellent. There's no bad odors in the car. There's no rust. Um, windows roll up and down fairly well. Actually, very well, I guess. Doors open and close solid. Visors are in good shape. Um, that's the door handle design there. There's some particular reason I never can remember why 67 has a um, its own one-year only handle. It's something to do with that trigger, which I was kind of demonstrating there with my fat fingers, uh, versus the push button versus a square push button. I don't remember what it is, but I'm sure some Volkswagen expert would know that. Um, the door, like I said, the doors close great. Um, it rides great, drives great. Now, the front fenders are not 67 fenders, but they were on the car, and that's the original front bumper that was on the car as well. It's not perfect, but it's been shined up really nice. It's got a little bit of pitting, a little bit of aging on it, but it's not bad. The front fenders are 66 and older, but there is some rumors on the Internet that they used 66 and older fenders on the first several thousand 67 Volkswagen convertibles or 67 Volkswagens in general. So they could be the original fenders, but they're not correct 67 fenders as a purist would know them. Um, I can't tell the difference. I don't really know what the difference is. I never have been able to tell, but some people can go up and go, I didn't got the right fenders on it. And I don't know what the difference is. Um, the hood or bonnet is in great shape. I think I'm going to open it here in just a second. If I, uh, on the original audio, I'm probably being extremely long winded here, but um, I don't know what the holdup is. I think I get around to opening it in just a few seconds, maybe. Oh, there we go. Finally, I opened it. Um, everything under there is in good shape. It's got the bin tag in the front. Uh, gas tank's great. Trunk liner's good. Spare tire holds air. Correct wide five rims. Good tread on all the tires. Um, I think everything is painted correctly in there. I think the hinges are supposed to be black. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, the mirrors are correct. Running boards were replaced. The, basic, the car was basically rebuilt front to back, top to bottom, like I said earlier. It's a great, great, great car. Um, the only reason my, my, basically he's my stepbrother, the only reason he's selling this is because um, it just doesn't get used much anymore and it doesn't get shown much anymore. And I think he wants to upgrade or downgrade, depending on how you look at it, and get something more modern and newer. Um, the traffic here in Florida has gotten pretty crazy, so the area he lives in is very congested, just as the area I live in is very congested, and it's become more difficult to drive these cars in that congestion. Not even on Sundays, really, anymore can you kind of peacefully drive these things around, so I think he's going to try to find something newer with, like, uh, air conditioning and cruise control and, uh, you know, nice radio, stuff like that. Okay, we're getting ready to hop in this thing and take it for a little driving impression. Yep, there you go. There's the driving impression. Those knobs on the dash are 67 only. And there's a pretty big list of 67 only Volkswagen parts. That was also the first year they went to 12 volt electrical systems. So it was kind of a transition year for Volkswagen. And of course, in 1968, 
in the United States, we had all the safety regulations with the seat belts and the other things, safety regulations that I can't remember either. Um, so this was like a one year only because of a lot of that. And uh, it's got more of the Euro flair with the more modern Volkswagen pluses like the 12 volt electrical system. Um, this car is rattle free. It's one of the nicest Volkswagens that I've ever seen and I've seen quite a few of them. He also had a disc brake conversion done on the front disc or the front brakes, so it stops better than your average Volkswagen as well. Um, there's not many things on this car that are not stock or can't be easily reversed, and that's the brakes and a couple of the engine pieces that I discussed. The parts that come with the car are going to be an extra deck lid, which is probably worth a bit of money on the internet, which has the drain pan intact, the water drain pan inside. I think there's an extra driver's door. There's a brand new basket tray that goes underneath the dash that was never installed. And there's some engine parts, the original air cleaner, things like that. Um, everything works on the car. The light, All the lights work except for the radio. The radio does not work. Everything else works as it should. Um, it's been driven for long distances with no issues, uh, where he lives to where I live is probably 65, 70 miles, I think. And it, there's no problem driving back and forth, runs cool, runs quiet, runs smooth. And, um, we're actually kind of breezing through this uh, surface street here pretty well and uh, I really enjoyed riding this car. I wish I was a little thinner. I could drive it more but uh, that steering wheel was just like tearing into the gut if you know what I mean. Okay he's gonna pull over here and let me out and we're gonna do a couple of drive-by shots so you can hear the engine running and see the car in motion. close this video out by saying I hope that I've answered any question that you may have had about this car. If you have any more questions, you can drop me a DM through Instagram or TikTok by following Grease Belly Garage. I'd be happy to contact my family member and find out the answers. This is a really, truly beautiful car that's going to be sold. Since you're on my YouTube channel, though, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to uh, subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below if you've got any pertinent information. And uh, smash that notification bell, I guess they say. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. See you next time. Right. Tune in again. Thanks for watching. Yep.